Windows and Mac are two of the most popular operating systems right now, but they are very different in terms of features, apps, and also the interface. Which one is better among these is one very tough question. Hello guys, I'm Shlok and I've been using Windows for a long time now and for making this video possible and also for trying out something new, I installed macOS on my computer itself and I also tried out a MacBook. This video is comparing the OS and not actually the hardware, so please keep that in mind. The first thing that you'll notice after you open macOS is how minimal the design is. Most of the things are hidden or are very small. The bar on the top is very small and it is common for all the applications. If you maximize any window, it will go complete full screen and it will hide the top bar and also the dock on the bottom. The screen estate is used really nicely but the minimal design can be a bit problematic as well. You don't have the option to increase the volume on the top bar by default. You have to enable it manually by going into the settings menu. And also the windows cut and paste feature which is present just by right clicking on the mouse button is not present and you have to actually use a shortcut. By the way, there are loads of shortcuts. You have three different types of shortcuts for taking three different types of screenshots. Windows is a lot more different and it is definitely not a minimal design. When you will click on the start button, it will show you everything at once. It will have all the programs, it will have all the Microsoft features, the power menu and also a lot more things. Just for example, the task manager has a lot more options on Windows and you also have a lot more variety of inbuilt applications. But all of this can get really messy as well. We have the control panel and the settings menu, both of them together and some of the options even overlap between these. There are also two inbuilt browsers, Microsoft Edge and we also have the old age Internet Explorer. These are the things that we all have gotten used to, but they can be problematic for new users. Both operating systems have different kind of features that you won't find on the other one. Like we have the window snapping on windows where you can just snap a window to the corner or snap it to the top to make it full screen. And you have the text track feature where you can drag the text from one window and you can drag it to the desktop to create a text file that has the text that you've selected. They work a little differently, like for installing applications, you can just copy the application to the application folder on Mac and on Windows, you'll have a window where you'll have to press next several times to install the application. But most features are similar and you'll find almost all the basic functionality on both of these operating systems. Gaming is where it gets a little interesting. If you keep the hardware aside and compare only the software and the gaming performance, Windows actually does come out on top. Yup, it's very straight. It has more games and a lot of games that are present on macOS are bad ports. So the performance in games is also not amazing. Gaming is something macOS is definitely not good at. There are other things that it does really well though. Just for example, the audio production is a bit better on Mac and that is because of the low amount of DPC latency spikes. And what it exactly means is you'll have less disturbance when recording audio. macOS is based upon Unix, so programming is a lot more easier. And of course, if you want to build apps for iPhone, you'll only have to use Mac. On Windows, you'll have to create a virtual environment using some applications like Sigwin or something like that. And it is definitely not straightforward. If you don't understand any of this does not matter at all. You just have to understand that if you want to do programming, then Mac is a little better option. And if you're going to choose computer science as your branch, then also it can be a good option. Mac and Windows also have a lot of exclusive softwares. Just for example, Final Cut Pro is only available on Mac and for audio production, Windows has FL Studio, while Mac has Logic and GarageBand. So if you want to use one particular software that is not available on the other one, you'll have to change your whole OS for that. And that is also one reason why I switched to Mac. I installed it on my PC and initially I dual booted it, but after using it for some time and it's been a month now, I'm currently only using Mac OS. My personal reason of using this is Final Cut Pro and you can install it on a lot of laptops as well, but it can be a little tough. These are the things that are not just with Hackintosh, they are present with all other Mac systems as well. 
Most of the Apple stuff like Apple iPhones or iPads syncs in nicely with the Mac OS, but for everything else you will have to install drivers. Just for example, my Android mobile does not connect directly and my printer also does not work directly. And also most hard drives that are formatted with NTFS do not work with Mac. So if you're going to use Mac, then you'll have to reformat all your hard drives to XFAT or FAT32. So the simple answer would be this. If you need some kind of a specific software, then you can choose either one of them according to the software that you want. For gaming, it would definitely be Windows because the performance is a lot more better. Or for programming or audio production, Mac would definitely be the choice. So that was kind of it for this video guys. If you liked the video, make sure to press the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.